Good morning, class. Welcome to another fantastic morning in the Magnificent Bible Blanket Fort. This is ah, totally normal, Cindy. This morning, inside the fort, I have something very mysterious for you. Oh, hi. Someone came to class early today. The shortest member of our class. Yeah. Oh, who said Beebleboos? What will I do when we come back? And I don't have my cats with me anymore in the mornings. It's going to be so weird. Today's topic is one of my favorites because it's based on my favorite part of the New Testament. It's in the book of John and it's chapter 14, which makes it sound so not interesting or exciting, but believe me, it totally is. It talks about how God is with us right now, how God is with us right now, right in this moment. All right, so come on down into the magnificent Bible blanket fort that's the darkest blanket fort apparently in the world. Where is that light switch? Before the crucifixion, Jesus was explaining to all of his friends about what was going to happen. He told them that he had to go, but that he was going to prepare a place for them so that they might be with him one day. And they said, what? You're leaving? And he said, well, yes, but I'm going to ask God the Father to send someone so that you won't be alone. The Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, what's that? Artists often paint the Holy Spirit to look like a dove. Does that mean the Holy Spirit is a bird? Burger? No. Er. But the Bible does say that at Jesus' baptism, the Holy Spirit came down like a dove. And so that's why people paint it that way. Ha! The Holy Spirit is actually pretty hard to describe. Holy Spirit, what's that? The Holy Spirit can act as a counselor. Sometimes we need to make a decision or decide on the best course of action. Sometimes that's very difficult. But if you pray to God, He will send the Holy Spirit to help you. The Holy Spirit will counsel you, advise you, help you, just like Jesus is right there with you. The Holy Spirit will give you wisdom so you can decide on what way will be best. That. The Holy Spirit is our advocate, which is a fancy word that means defender. The Holy Spirit helps protect us from the wickedness of the evil one and reminds us and anyone else who's listening that we belong to Jesus Christ. He is our Savior, and no one can snatch us from his hand. That. The Holy Spirit acts as a comforter. Sometimes we'll feel sad or unhappy, and the people around us aren't always the most helpful. God wants us to have his peace, so he sends the Holy Spirit, who brings God's peace to us if we ask. The Bible says that Jesus said, Peace I leave with you, my peace is. I give you. Would you like to have peace? Ask God. He can send the Holy Spirit to bring it to you. Holy Spirit, what's that? The Holy Spirit is part of the Trinity, which means it's together with the Father and the Son. The three of them are one thing. And the one thing is 
the three of them. So the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit make up the Trinity, and that's God. Holy Spirit, Wow! Did you see that? The Holy Spirit. That is the part of God that you interact with every day. That's God coming to you at, like right now, in real time, at this very moment. As you get older, you will have more and more experiences with the Holy Spirit. That's why it's so much fun to talk to people in our church, because lots of them have had experiences with the Holy Spirit, and they're all fascinating. Jesus says about the Holy Spirit right here, the Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance, whatever I have told you. I'll give you an example of what that can mean. Say you're thinking about something or you have some kind of problem or there's something you need advice about. And then all of a sudden you notice that a certain piece of scripture comes to your mind. Or you just remember some words from the Bible. It just comes to you all of a sudden. That's the Holy Spirit doing that. The Holy Spirit's like, hey, this is the answer to you. Remember this? This is what God says to you. God wants us to remember what's in this book because it helps us. And so he will bring it to our remembrance sometimes when we need it. That's one example of how the Holy Spirit works, but there's a Holy Spirit works in the most amazing, interesting ways. And once you start to notice what's going on there, your whole life can change. It's amazing. And so I hope that you keep your eyes peeled for those kinds of experiences in your own life. In a few weeks, we'll be celebrating Pentecost, which is when the Holy Spirit comes down to the church in a big way. What is happening to my hood? Look at this. Now I'm just part of the blankets here, just one of the other blankets. This hood is the biggest hood of all the hoodie pajamas that I have. Look at this, I look like a monk. I hope that you can come and join me next week. But until then, stay well, be blessed. Bye.